Hello everyone, Professor Toybox here along with Anna. Ah! And we're back in my Arendelle toy box where we're building some winter themed games that we can play. Last time we built this slalom course and I've been having a lot of fun trying to beat my time. And let's see if I can do it this time. Whoa! <laughs> well, I tied it anyway. Not too bad. So that was a lot of fun. But today we're going to go ahead and build something brand new. A ski jump. And we're going to build it on this end of the toy box. We'll come in here to spark mode. And I'll give you a look at what I have in mind. So uh, when I was working on the hillside for Arendelle, I had this ramp extending out only this far. And I realized in preparation for this video, I needed a slightly longer runoff. So I extended this out a bit and I reconfigured, oops, reconfigured this hill so that uh, could make room for that. I also took the liberty of getting a head start on the scaffolding here for the ski jump, which is what we're going to build today. And this is made up of these uh, Fantasyland platforms and building sets group four. plus a few blocks from the blocks drawer. And this is namely the small floor. And I'll show you the texture I've got applied to this. That's the wood one texture. So I did that there for that uh, platform to rest on and also did the same for the underside of that. And I put a couple of pipes up here so that you can climb up to this. This top piece here is a racetrack piece and it's got the frozen theme applied. And uh, so we'll go ahead and use this for the ski jump. And uh, we're actually gonna ski jump off, out off this way and down the bay. So we'll go ahead and start first on the ramp, which is what we're going to need. So if we come up to the racing pieces drawer, first thing I wanna start with is this ramp. And I want to make sure that lines up. And we're going to line it up with the end of this block. And then spin it around and this will be the ramp that launches us. The next piece over in the drawer is the steep ramp. And we're going to need two of those. And the next piece over is the arch, which gets us up to the top of the scaffolding. So there's the ramp that's going to launch us. And now we'll need some creative toys. I saw a YouTube video a couple of years ago of someone who built a ski jump and experimented with this. And I wish I could find that video because I'd like to credit that person, but I can't find that video anywhere. They must have taken down their channel. And that's a shame because it was kind of a neat video watching him experiment with this. So I'm gonna build this myself so that you can see how this goes together. And that way we can still have this idea up on YouTube for people to find it, because I think it's kind of a fun little game. Anyway, we're going to need a button, and we're going to need a falling object generator. I'm going to put this up here for right now. And I'm also going to drop a locator right underneath this, so that the thing we're going to drop doesn't um, drop down right on top of this thing and bounce around. Let me make sure, it doesn't really matter which way that little dot's pointing, but it's pointing in the right direction. So for the ski jump, we can't use the hoverboard because we need something that's affected by gravity as it goes down the ramp, so it picks up speed. And fortunately, we have something in the toy box that is affected by gravity, and that's the physics balls. And although we can't ride a physics ball, we can ride a hockey puck. So I'm gonna hook this button up so that when it's pressed, we come up to the falling object generator and we're going to drop the hockey puck. And now we're going to go ahead and connect the falling object generator up to the locator. And that's the generation location. So now if we come out here and press the button, 
there's our ride. And we'll have to double jump up on top of this. And of course, it doesn't do anything, so we need a way to move it down the track. And so for that, we're going to need a couple of other Creativa toys. First thing we're going to need is a weather vane. And I'm going to go ahead and drop this right here. This creates a wind that we can use to propel that hockey puck down the track. And we'll come in here to the properties for this. And the force, you can adjust this to be as high as you want. We'll start with 10. I think that will probably work fine. And the affected objects, just the physics balls, or in our case, the hockey puck. And we need a direction for the wind, so we'll connect the locator that we just dropped. We can use that for two purposes here. And this will be the direction of force from that weather vane to that locator, which will push the hockey puck down the track. And the last thing we need is a way to turn this on. And so I'm going to use this target. Because once you're on the hockey puck, you can't really use a button or anything to start this. So we'll have to hop on the hockey puck, shoot the target. And when the target is hit, we'll come over here and turn on the weather vane. which will start the wind, which will start the puck moving down the ramp. Now, we don't need that blowing all the time, so one more creativity toy I'll drop is a trigger area at the bottom, so that when the hockey puck passes through this, we can turn off that weather vane. And I'm going to extend this out a little ways on either side of this ramp, because depending on where you stand on that hockey puck will kind of determine how straight that hockey puck goes. There we go. And new logic connection when entered by physics ball. So when the physics ball or the hockey puck enters that trigger area, we'll come over to the weather vane and turn that off. And there we go. That's everything we need. So we've got our button that drops the hockey puck. We've got our target up there, which will turn on the weather vane, and a trigger area at the bottom will just turn that off. So we'll hop up on here, and I don't think Anna's grappling gun is going to launch this thing. Yep, so that doesn't work with the target. So I've got a power disc here with Calhoun's blaster. I'm going to put that down, and I know that'll work. So here we go, going for a ride. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> and it's kind of spinning and whoops. So there it goes. And it'll just slide off the end of the world and that's fine. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. It's pretty easy to do. I'm going to do this again just to kind of show you that where you stand on that hockey puck kind of determines how well it works. So we'll come up here and drop another one. I'm going to have to come up with a faster way to return up here. Maybe put down a uh, teleporter or something over there. So there's our hockey puck. And this time I'm going to stand on the side of it here. And here we go. Yeah! You see it's already tipping. <laughs> and we are off course. And it actually slowed down and didn't stop. So that's interesting. <laughs> So anyway, that's our ski jump, and uh, I think it's a lot of fun. Just kind of goof around with it. Uh, if you wanted to try to turn this into an actual game, you can put down some trigger areas at the bottom of the slope here and try to see how far 
the uh, hockey puck can fly before it actually enters a trigger area along the ground. And uh, I'm not going to actually do that today because I'm um, actually starting to run low a bit on memory in here. And there's one or two other games I want to build in this toy box yet. But what you do is stretch a few um, trigger areas across here. And you can maybe uh, connect those up to some blocks down here in the blocks drawer. And I would connect those to the color changing blocks which are over here. And when the trigger area is entered by the hockey puck, you can connect it to the block that goes with that trigger area to turn it a different color, say green. And then you'll know whichever blocks are green um, from here down towards the end of the bay. That will tell you how far uh, the hockey puck went and any blocks that are back this way that are still gray, it obviously didn't make those. And when you press the button to drop the next hockey puck, you can reset all of the color blocks for the next run. So that's an idea how you can kind of turn that into a little bit of a game. Uh, I think it's just fun riding this thing down the ramp and goofing around with it and seeing how far you can go without uh, falling off the thing. <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is kind of a fun little activity to goof around with and you can make this into a game if you want. As I said, I don't think it would be too difficult. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel or sign up on my blog to see what we do next time. You can find build tips and logic diagrams on my blog as well for the different toy boxes and games that I make. And for now, this is Anna and I signing off from Arendelle, and we'll see you next time.